What's up guys? I got the ultimate grounder over here and I'm uh, just wanted to show you all the stuff that's going in it before I button it up because there's quite a bit. Now uh, to start things off, uh, this is the Rover which I have a few videos of. Uh, so far it's just been uh, plain FPV, uh, nothing fancy on it except I have a, a pan and tilt on there. Um, right now it's disassembled. Uh, this is a new pan and tilt I have. Uh, Colorado Flight Medic designed this. It's on Thingiverse. Um, it holds a Mobius and the flight camera and then I'll mount that onto a 360 degree servo and a tilt uh, servo. This is the old setup I have there. I need to take that off. Um, but other than that, there's a lot of new stuff going on. Uh, we can see over here I've got a Pixhawk flight controller. A lot of people probably think that's overkill. Uh, definitely agree with you. That is was out in a quadcopter that had a crash and a subsequent fire, so it's not uh, not trusted at the moment. So if I run it for a little bit in my truck and everything works good, then that's a free flight controller I can use on a quadcopter. I also wanted to use it because it allows me to use a GPS. This is a uh, the new Neo 8 GPS, um, and this has a huge uh, ground element that's soldered on there. So that's, um, it'll go up here I think, maybe just underneath. I might do a little cage for it. But uh, we're down here in my basement. And, um, well here, let's see how many satellites we have. We've got nine satellites and 2.15 HDOT. Which, uh, that's probably good enough to fly a quadcopter in. And <laughs> we're here in my basement. Uh, if you can see up there, so I'm really excited to, to use this GPS uh, on the rover because it's going to be on the ground all the time and underneath trees and other things. Um, other, other, other than that, we've got uh, 1.3 gigahertz uh, transmitter, 800 milliwatts. Um, we have a microphone now so I can hear uh, people talking to me. Um, we have a camera switch uh, like we had before and now we have a minimum OSD, uh, which is cool because we can have all our GPS information and uh, other stuff, battery voltage. Uh, still running the Rangelink receiver. I've got that in here and you can see I've got uh, plenty of coax. I'm going to mount antenna way up high and I've also got coax for my telemetry radio um, that's here for the Pixhawk. Uh, I've been using the tower. Um, I guess Droid Planner 3, or Tower is what they call it now, app for Android with the quadcopters with the Pixhawk. And that's pretty cool, so I'm wondering if it'll work um, with my rover just the same. Uh, but anyway, you can see um, these are, boxes are gonna go uh, just like this a little bit. I'll seal them up, um, waterproof everything. And then I have a bunch of pigtails out here that are all labeled. Um, with the channels that they're in so that uh, when it's waterproof, I don't have to do anything more. Uh, I've got a beeper on there. Uh, back here in the back, this is like the FPV compartment. Um, it's kind of sparse back there, but I'll probably add some more stuff. This is a camera switch because um, as you can see, we've got lights. So we've got uh, some headlights up here. We've got some lights on the back, tail lights. Um, I think I'll probably put some uh, lights on the side but yeah, unfortunately with this switch, you got to rock the channel switch like eight or nine times and then they'll turn off. And then I got to do it eight or nine times again, just because this switch is for doing multiple things at once. Uh, not just turning one set of lights off. And uh, but yeah, I'll have steering on the front and uh, this elevator stick is going to be the throttle now. So that you can go forward and backwards pretty easy. Uh, steering here, then this is all only going to control the pan and tilt. Um, except, and so you can set your tilt and pan left and right. Um, I'll have it on the 360 degree servo, so you just pan to tell you where you want to point it, and then stop, and it'll stop there. Um, and then I have the rear steer on the knob here, um, just because I only use that every once in a while, and the autopilot won't correct uh, control that when it's in the auto mode. So that's just um, bypassed. Yeah, so that's the ultimate FPV ground rover. Um, I'll do another video once it's all 
buttoned up and all ready to go. And, uh, and then you'll get a bunch of onboard videos from it. So thanks for watching.